Ava again. <laughs> fall this time. I have fall pillows, this cute little thing that I showed in my last video, and I'm very excited for fall still. So, today's video is kind of different. I've never done a video like this before. I'm going to be showing you guys for DIYs, but I'm also going to show you guys how I transform my room for fall with the DIYs and pillows and all those other fun things. <laughs> so if you are new here, please subscribe because a ton more fall videos are coming. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So my bedroom. First, we're going to start with the biggest thing in my room, which is my bed, obviously. And I keep the same comforter on my bed uh, basically all year round except for winter because the teal and the yellow in it goes with like the oranges of fall. And then I keep my same decorative pillows, but I add this cute little fox pillow that's orange from Target. And then I have that cute orange pumpkin pillow, which I got a really long time ago, so I don't know where it's from. But that's basically it for my bed. And then coming over here for my side table, I keep it pretty simple. I just have this amazing smelling candle. I'm not kidding you. It literally smells like Abercrombie and Fitch mixed with mango. It smells so good, uh, which is, and this is also from Target, you know, most of the things in my bedroom are from Target. And then coming over here to my makeup drawer set thing, I have this jewelry tree that I keep out all year round because it has my favorite jewelry on it, and then I just have my little fall scented Febreze, <laughs> and my first DIY, which are these super cute painted acorns. So, like I said, super easy. All I did was I collected some acorns from outside in my backyard, and I picked two colors of paint. You can use any colors of paint that you want. I just went with this, like, pinky, like, dark pink color, and then this lighter pink color, and I painted the bottom of the acorns. And it only take, like, about 30 minutes to dry, which is really nice, but I let mine dry for, like, an hour just in case because I was putting them in a glass bowl, and then I... I just put them on my dresser. So I think that they're really cute. Like I said, you can use any color that you want. You can use like five or 10 colors. You can use one color. It's completely up to you. Now coming over to my vanity here. This is where I do my makeup every day. So I don't really want to have the top of it very cluttered. I already have my makeup brushes and mirror and plant here. So I just got this wreath from a fair. Um, and it's super cute. It's very like rustic-y fall with the acorns and the fake leaves and pumpkins and the orange just goes with everything else in my room. So I thought that was really cute to like spice up this area. And then coming over to probably one of the favorite parts in my room, I have these three stools here that kind of make like a little bench. And I have this pillow that says peace and love on it from Target. Now this isn't very fall. So I got the softest pillow in the entire world. <laughs> and it's like a it's yellow, but it's kind of a little bit, it has like a tinge of orange in it, which I really like. And because yellow is in my color scheme, I don't just use this for fall, which is really nice, multiple purposes. But yes, it's a huge yellow pillow that definitely goes with fall, and it's very soft. So I love how it makes this area look all cozy. <laughs> and then here is my dresser. This is where a lot of the DIYs are. So first we have this super cute DIY, which is probably my favorite DIY that I've ever made in my entire life, and it's actually quite easy. Okay, so this is very easy. I just put styrofoam in this box, and I cut off the top of the box to make sure that it was all even, and then I glued down burlap. Now, I only glued the first part of it, and then I wrapped it around a bunch of times, and then I glued the last part of it. Now, as you can see here, it's going over the box, and is completely okay. You can cut that off if you want to, but for me, I just left it because then it, like, hid the ugly part of the box. Now taking my fake flowers and leaves, I just cut them off the stems with a wire cutter, but be sure to leave enough stems so that they will stick out of the box.
Then I just stuck the flowers and the fake leaf bunches into the styrofoam inside the box and I did this in a completely random order but made sure that like all the colors were spread throughout. And then I have a nice yellow candle because like I said, um, I like candles and yellow goes with my regular color scheme and with fall so I decided to keep this here. It smells like lemons and it's also from Target because 90% of the things in my room are from Target. <laughs> And then I have this teal vase thing here. There's nothing in it currently. I might put some fake flowers in it or something. Um, but the teal goes with the orange and the yellow, so I just decided to keep that there. And then I have these two really cute pumpkins. Guys, I am obsessed with this DIY. I want to do them every single year. So last year I actually made this one with different colored crayons, and then this year I made this one with black crayons. All I did was broke black crayons in half and put them all around the top of the pumpkin and then plugged in my hair dryer and blow dried them. Now even though this is really easy, it can get pretty messy so make sure your table is covered. And it takes a little, okay I'm lying, it takes a lot of time to get the crayons to melt but it's definitely worth it. These are so cute and I'm obsessed. <laughs> And then lastly, I have this little entryway into my room, and I have a cute little yellow flower here, and a cute little teal book, and I have a cute little sign up here, but I wanted to fallify this area too, so I made this super cute little sign. It just says, falling into art. It was really easy to make. I basically just penciled it in, and then drew on it with an orange marker, and I got this piece of wood from Target. I've seen them at Michael's too, though, so very simple and very cute. So yes, that is how I fallified my room for fall. Okay guys, so that was it for this video. I hope that you liked it and you guys know if you did, you should give it a thumbs up. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> also, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I've been posting on there quite frequently. Fre frequently. <laughs> so you should definitely go follow me over there. If you guys liked this, like, version, like, version. I don't know what I'm saying. This, like, different way that I filmed this video. Um, then let me know in the comments if you want to see any more videos like this or if you have any fall videos that you would like to see. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!